breaking news. Ramaphosa has instructed. Um, Ramaphosa has instructed e, uh, some look e, 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 Gauteng here, uh, Panyazale Sufi, to include some of the members of ETA right within the cabinet of e, e, Gauteng, right? Again, um, uh, all credit to EIOL. Again, IOL report that uh, they report that sources within the ANC have revealed that uh, the party has uh, has issued a deadline of 5 p.m. on Sunday for the DA to accept the new cabinet proposal. The ultimatum comes after uh, protracted negotiations between the the two parties as, as they attempt to finalize the composition of the a government of national unity. What will happen if DA decide to pull out? I'm just thinking. What will happen? In a worst case scenario where DA says, ah, you guys are full of jokes. We are deciding that we are going to pull out now. We are pulling out right now with immediate effect. What will happen? I'm, just, I'm thinking out loud, cousin. Yeah, relax. I'm thinking out loud. What will happen then? Because all the political parties that are there, Will not have, will not give you fifty one percent. All of them together. You still need e EFF and the MK party. In fact, if you get MK party or EFF, huh? but if you get this two, you're done. I've just made an example. You don't need the others because from 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 from, from, from numerical point of view, you, you if you get ANC, MK, EFF, they've got government there. So, what if TA feels like, hmm, you guys, you don't take us to us, eh? So, we're deciding that uh, for the sake of peace, pulling out of this nonsensical thing of government of national unity, unless you give us the position of being a deputy president, then we will join you. If not, no, we're not coming. I, I, I'm, no, guys, it's an ask, an innocent ask from me to say, hmm, what will happen if TA were to do that? What will happen if People were to be honest, faithful, and decide to support a black child. It's one of the questions that I also have in South Africa to say, oh, I'm sorry, in Africa in general, to say, wait, what will happen if people were to do that? I mean, in a, in a situation where people, they, they support one another, in a situation where they promote one another, what will happen? <clears throat> what will happen if people in this country were to be united. I'm just asking. Those are the questions that are coming into my head now as of me thinking about this thing of what will happen at ETA. Actually, if, uh, if, if ETA were to pull out of these things. But I know what will happen uh, if you were to do this. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people. Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, it is free of charge. To click the notification bell, it is free of charge. To share this video, it is free of charge. To watch this video until the end, it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean, come on, to watch the ads, it's free of charge, and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the Super Thanks Party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? will bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed all right uh, let's continue uh according to so uh, according to sources the da initially demanded seven ministerial position including portfolios of such uh, of such as water San water and sanitation, communication, mineral and energy, education, and uh, public servants and administration as well as health. The DA also sought to have John Stenhazen appointed as deputy president. However, after extensive, uh, extensive uh, negotiations, the DA demanded uh, the DA dem demand has been reduced to five ministerial positions. Uh, so says the ANC has made it clear that they look at that that we are willing to compromise, but we cannot 
uh, we cannot assert to all the DA's demand, said a senior ANC source. We have counter-offered with five ministerial and believe this is fair arrangement. Sources also indicate that President Ramaphosa is contemplating on expanding his cabinet to co accommodate the GNU partners with some smaller parties potentially being offered deputy minister's role. There is possibility of expanding the cabinet to ensure all partners are adequate adequately accommodated and added another ANC source credit to him. IOL, because they've done an incredible job in this one as well. The negotiations comes back. Uh, look, comes uh, the look at it. The negotiations are against the backdrop of tension between the DA and the ANC over the past two weeks. A recent public spat between the Helen Zile DA Federal uh, Chairperson and ANC Secretary General Mbalula has exacerbated the tensions. These, look at the, the disagreement centers on the uh, interpretation of the uh, GNU statement of intent, with Helen Zile accusing Balula of not reading the agreement correctly before signing it. <laughs> I saw I so <laughs> I saw um, a post in you know, a uh, had posted something and then this lady re responded when Fundama both Fundama Ackerman Mangaba Mangabe I was a good I'm um I'm a Ackerman uh Ashutini uh what what post la so so now, uh, the same IOL uh, reported that staff in uh, just in Ramaphosa intervenes in Gauteng instructed Sufi to include DA members in provincial cabinet. Uh, it has been said, sources have confirmed to IOL that President Sarah Ramaphosa has instructed Gauteng Premier Banyaza Lesufi to include members of the DA in provincial cabinet. Ramaphosa's interve interventions comes after negotiations between Lesufi and DA fell through, le look, leading to Lesufi excluding EDA from the cabinet announcement. Well, just to give you a brief summary there, the announcement was postponed. Was, the announcement was supposed to take place today, but uh, today, 2 p.m., but it was later postponed. So it could be that uh, it was at the intervention of Ramaphosa that uh, then they decided to, to, to remove, look, to, inter to, to postpone that. But again, the DA had initially requested four MEC positions while Lesufi counter countered with offer of three positions. A senior ANC source in the in, in the Houteng says that Lisufi was ready to uh, proceed without the DA, but Ramaphosa intervened. The president's directive was clear. The inclusion of DA is necessary to maintain the spirit of the NGU. Premier Lisufi must accommodate the directive despite the initial backdown in negotiations, said a source. Um, hey, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna uh, Ramaphosa will regret. Uh, the, Ramaphosa is going to have a lot of regret after this. Oh, in fact, let me say the ANC in general will have uh, a lot of regret after this, because I mean, honestly speaking, uh, the the marriage that they find themselves in, I don't think it's just a proper marriage. Like honestly speaking, guys, I really don't believe that this is a marriage that should be formed by these two parties. But anyway, they have decided that they want this marriage. So. Chances are they know how this marriage is going to work. We don't know how this marriage is going to work. But one thing for sure that I'm afraid of is the fact that, um, you know, you can't bring unity out of something that doesn't exist. When people hate each other, there's no unity that you can make until you first be reconciled. So um, if you, for instance, if I ask the question, what will happen if people of South Africa unite? Um Obviously, you're going to have a good South African look. look this, the, the atmosphere will be nice. That, that's one thing for sure. Um, there's going to be prosperity in this country because people are united. Like There is a lot that can come out of unity when people are uni unified. When people are united, there's a lot that can come out of that. But what happens if people are not willing to unite? Uh, what happens? We'll get chaos, disorder. So, the ANC has just decided to, go, to get themselves into something that is... Should I see? <laughs> this is ridiculous, <laughs> guys. This is ridiculous. This marriage of ANC and Ramaphosa, the marriage of convenience. <laughs>
kho inkukhe usolo mdakaza kho nokushaya amanzi ngalo ngalo mshado lo kukho nokushaya amanzi ngalo mshado ni othi lokho hey atingithula atingithula ngazo tuwe sengithe hey we sunday abantu bayiphumlele 